Saint John Vianney, who's the patron saint of priests, once said that the priesthood is the love of the heart of Jesus. And in many ways that encapsulates what the priesthood is all about. It's a means by which God uses human beings to bring his love into our world in very tangible ways through another human person. I think priests could be described, it's, it's rather an unusual phrase I guess, but I think priests could be described as the God people in people's lives. We're the ones that people look to, to realise, to have an experience that God is still with us, that God cares about us, that God loves us. Jesus came who, as one who was intimately immersed in the lives and concerns and pains of people. You know, he came to save humanity, but he did this with concrete people in concrete communities, reaching out to them in their needs. And priesthood has to be the same. It has to be immersed um, in the real needs and situations and lives of people. I think the priest in his parish, among his people, is meant to be a clear sign to them that Jesus is still with them, specifically as their Good Shepherd, the one who leads them, the one who cares for them, the one who makes sure their needs are being met, the one who protects them from danger, the one who leads them into safe pastures. We celebrate Eucharist with a community and there are people there who are in pain, who are in moments of joy, just ordinary moments of life, but you're there bringing Christ celebrating Christ with them. The people of God's vocation is to be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. The priest is there to support them, guide them, nourish them on the word of God, on the sacraments, so they can be the people that God is calling them to be. How can I show the, this deposit of faith, the church's teaching which hands on uh, the teaching of the Apostles and of Christ to this individual with all of their concerns, with all of their past experiences so that they too can not just hear me but that they can hear Christ speaking to them through me, through the sacrament of the priesthood. The priest is Alta Christus, the priest is another Christ. As the Second Vatican Council says, uh, the priest is a man who is set apart to do the work of the Lord. And the Lord's work is to go out into the whole world and to preach the good news. In our Catholic and Christian tradition, we believe that really there's only one priest, and that priest is Jesus. He's the one who offered his life for us. He's the one who through his life and his death and his resurrection has freed us from our sins. And of course, that's what's at the heart of priesthood, that priesthood is about setting people free from all that's holding them back from God so as to enable them to be drawn into the mystery of God. That's the role of a priest. The priest really is the sacramental representation of Jesus Christ in the world. In the sacrament of ordination, the priest is configured to Christ the High Priest and shares in Jesus' very own mission. So it's an experience of uh, the love of God poured out for his whole people and the priest shares in that same love and is called to do the same. The priest has to be a servant after the heart of Christ the Good Shepherd. Priesthood uh, belongs to Christ because Christ is the High Priest. So I am called to participate in the priesthood of Christ. So this gives me a lot of respect for this ministry because I see that I don't deserve it, but I'm just called to participate for this, I see it a, a very important ministry that I've been given and it gives me a lot of uh, zeal to serve the people of God, uh, uh, throwing myself completely to be at the service of the people. One of my own personal little mottos is uh, servitas et humilitas, to service and humility as, as Jesus himself um, emptied himself to become one like us in order that we may become one like him. That I see as the role that we're called as priests to, to serve and to be humble in our service 
um, recognizing that we are weak and failed and yet the Lord still calls us uh, to bring his love to people. Christ, I discover this at different times and hits me, has been so faithfully loving to me and part of my small return of love is to serve him as a priest. We remain frail and, and weak and limited human beings. We've been called by the Lord to this enormous challenge and this great task. And on our own, we're not going to be up to it. It's, it's always going to be beyond us. But if we remember that it's the Lord who's called us, and through our ordination, the Lord who has given us the grace to be what he wants us to be, and we remember to rely on him rather than just on ourselves, then we will be the priests that he wants us to be and that, that the church needs us to be.